Hello, welcome to analog communication lesson for today. We will consider this basic diagram uh, for today of analog communication and uh, please li listen this lecture so carefully because it's really fundamental for analog communication. Okay, let's start with the input signal. Here, input signal ha, uh, input signal it's, it's not like a uh, electrical signal actually uh, such as text audio video image for example we are we want to uh, send the text we want to send a, a audio it's not electrical signal because when we speak uh, to the a mobile phone our voice is not a, a, an electrical signal, yeah? So, um, the input signal is not a, a, an electrical signal. We should convert this electrical signal into, uh, this non-electrical signal into electrical signal. So, for this target, we use input transducer. It converts non-electrical signal into electrical signal. Ultimately, um, well, we 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 have we have got to use electrical signal to communicate. Without electrical signal, we can't uh, communicate. So we use input transducer for this target. Uh, for instance, for voice, we can we can give an example. Uh, for input transducer it will be a microphone for voice after input transducer our input signal has low frequency and low energy to make the input signal strong we use transmitter block transmitter block um, Include includes amplifier, modulator, filter, mixer, antenna. Amplifier um, is used for making strong, making the signal strong. Actually, low uh, in terms of energy. Amplifier, as you see here, the definition of amplifier, the useless actually the. Uh, beneficial of amplifier low energy from low energy to high energy for modulator from low energy uh, from uh, low frequency signal to high frequency signal antenna it's used for wireless channel wireless channel if you have antenna electrical signal will be electromagnetic wave after transmitter block after transmitter block we can send the signal to longer distance. Actually, it's the target of communication. Yeah, is it correct? We use uh, analog communication, digital communi communication to uh, send our message to longer distance actually. After transmitter block, the signal has high frequency and high energy. In this part of our diagram, if we use wireless channel, the signal is electromagnetic wave because we use antenna to send the signal to longer distance without wire. Actually, between the transmitter block and receiver block, we use channel. It occurs uh, wireless channel and uh, wire channel. Of course, during this period, um, noise and distortion 
can be involved in our uh, this our signal for wire uh, wireless channel we, we are gonna communicate more we are gonna uh, talk about wireless channel more uh, for wire channel optical cable we use optical cable and copper cable after channel as soon as the signal reach to uh, receiver block of course during the channel the signal uh, has actually yeah as soon as the uh, signal uh, reach the receiver block it has high frequency and low energy plus noise here if we use wireless channel we should use in receiver block antenna of course um, regardless using wireless channel if we use wire channel uh, of course actually for both wireless channel and wire channel we we should use uh, demodulator amplifier and amplifier and filter for wireless channel we've got to use antenna to make the signal uh, to make the signal uh, low frequency to make the signal again high energy because we can't investigate the signal if it has high frequency we should we should make it low frequency and high energy but it's still electrical signal our signal is still electrical signal after receiver block but if we get for example if the customer wants to get the signal wants to get the message um, she can't investigate the signal yeah electric signal we should we should transmit it uh, we should convert it non-electrical signal of course such as text audio video image so for the circuit we use output transducer it converts electrical signal into non-electrical signal for example speaker and we get output signal finally here is the basic diagram of analog communication and it's really so important for investigation of analog communication uh, after this lecture we are gonna we are gonna consider about so many things of uh, analog communication uh, but you should um, you should find it on your background of your brain while we are getting the um, education about analog communication please uh, thanks for your uh, thanks for your watching this video um, let's see you have a nice day